The Southern African Venture Capital and Private Equity Industry Association wants Regulation 28 to be amended to support the economic recovery plan. Now, that regulation of the Pension Fund Act limits the extent to which retirement funds may invest in certain assets. To talk some more about it, I'm joined by the association's Tanya Van Lil. Uh, Tanya, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, now, you know, when, when regular people hear that, um, that people want to um, uh, make changes to the pension Fund Act. It really does send anxiety um, uh, spiking a little bit. Um, and, and that's probably understandable. Can you explain in layman's terms what exactly you feel should be changed in Regulation 28 uh, for growth to happen? Uh, morning, Marcel, and um, thank you for asking. Um, in terms of Regulation 28, it says that 15% of the assets that pension funds can allocate to an asset class, or in this case, is to um, what we call alternative asset class. In other words, um, the kinds of asset classes that aren't listed on the stock exchange. So within the unlisted space, you've got private equity and hedge funds within that 15% cap. And that cap is to ensure that a pension fund don't overexpose themselves to one asset class. But what we're asking for is for that private equity and hedge funds be separated under that particular banner, because currently it's grouped together as unlisted assets. And the two asset classes are very different and each have their own risk and return profiles. So it makes it very difficult for pension funds to measure their risk return profile and to manage hedge funds and private equity separately. Um, now, but you do understand uh, why that regulation was put together in the first place, because I suppose when it comes to people's pensions, they want to expose um, uh, that very important uh, amount of money from uh, being at risk in any way, shape or form. Would there be a way to change it to ensure that that risk uh, stays minimal? So what we're saying is that separate the two asset classes into its own categories and give each category their own cap or their own ceiling to ensure that there isn't overexposure to either of the two asset classes. And then over time, as we see the economic imperatives of South Africa, they increase particularly the private equity cap within that space because private equity invests in companies that help with uh, growing jobs, um, sustainable investing, infrastructure and renew renewable energy is also part of that spectrum and that's where we think the growth for the future is needed. Uh, and our pension funds were also a topic of discussion just a few uh, days ago when the head of economic transformation for the ANC uh, again brought up um, uh, the suggestion of changes needed to um, the very same regulation 28. Uh, do you feel in a position to uh, comment on that? Would the changes be similar or are we talking about a different part of regulation 28? Um, it's very similar, but for us, the private equity in particular, is where we feel the growth is going to happen. Uh, private capital is needed to help grow uh, the businesses that can create sustainable jobs and also invest in the infrastructure that can create jobs and um, ensure the economic recovery of the country. Private equity has shown time and time and again that it offers good financial returns to pension funds. It helps them manage their risk profile as they get to invest in parts of the economy that are not necessarily on a listed exchange. And then for their pension fund members, it's about investing in the economy now and in the economy in which they're going to retire into to invest in infrastructure projects that will build roads, build hospitals and make the um, environment in which the pension fund members retiring into a better environment. Now, this is not the first time that your organization has put the spotlight on needs for changes to Regulation 28 of the Pension Fund Act. Um, how confident are you that this time around your calls will be heard? Well, we feel given what's happening in the country at the moment and the need for economic recovery and to come out of this stronger and better, we feel that there will be a lot more attention focused on this and that there's a sense of urgency about the fact that we all need to work together to help grow the economy and recover from this crisis. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Tanya van Lil is with the Southern African Venture Capital and Private Equity Industry Association. We thank her so much.